Okay, hello everyone and welcome back. Um, it's been a minute and I do apologize for that. And thank you guys for your patience because August has been a month of traveling and personal things and it's been a little bit of a mess, but September 1st, I really hope to be back on track and thank you guys again for your continued support. My name is Austin. If you're new around here, I blog about fashion and beauty and I'm also a freelance writer here in New York City. And I'm so excited to be testing out a new skincare and beauty line for you guys today. We are primarily going to be testing makeup in this video and it is by the lovely, most talented 15 year old to ever walk our planet, um, Millie Bobby Brown. So MBB has released Florence and it is a new skincare and makeup line. Here are some cute little stickers that came with the products. And I got to go to the event yesterday. I also got to take a pic with said Millie Bobby Brown and she was so cute and she also looks way older than me in that photo, which is crazy because I'm literally 10 years older than her. So um, let me give you a little bit of info from the press release here and then we will get into the testing. So Florence by Mills, I believe Florence is in reference to her grandmother, which is very cute, is a Gen Z focused line founded on the belief that true beauty comes from loving and embracing yourself. So this line is launching with nine skincare essentials and four color cosmetics. So there are 13 products in total. I have nine here to test out for you guys. The price range of this collection is fantastic. Every product is between 10 and $34. But you can purchase Florence by Mills directly through the website, florencebymills.com. Or if you live in the United States, they are partnering with Ulta as their exclusive retailer. You can get it online or in stores at Ulta as well. Cool, so I'm going to be primarily testing out the makeup products today, but I will show you the other skincare skincare products that I received. The first is the Swimming Under the Eyes Gel Eye Pads, and these are actually shaped like whales. I saw them at the event. They're super cute. Um, you place a whale under each eye with the tails facing in or out. It says you choose their adventure, please, um, and leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes. So just like your normal eye mask, I believe that you get 60 pads in here which is a lot, so you won't run out of these anytime soon, which is nice. Also, this mind-glowing peel-off mask, which is super cute. Um, as it says, it's a peel-off mask. It is lavender, as is all of the packaging and all of the branding for Florence, so it kind of matches with that. You get 1.7 fluid ounces of this. There's also the Look Alive Eye Balm, and I realized I should probably be taking these products out to kind of show you what they look like. So rather than kind of a ball applicator, this one is a little bit dented so that it does fit right under your eyes. If any of those skincare products specifically interest you, let me know down below if you'd like to see a review of any of them. I am going to start off with two skincare products to prep my skin before I apply the color products that I have. The first is the Zero Chill Face Mist, and then I'm also going to apply the Glow Yeah Lip Oil. There are no rules for the face mist. It's, it says dance and shake before use, close your eyes and spritz your face, use any time because there are no limits. Shout out to the copywriter for this brand, like yes. I'm gonna make sure it works first. Ooh. Yes, it does. And I read that also all of these products are also infused with lavender because Millie finds that to be a very calming scent, which I totally concur, although I do prefer jasmine, but I like lavender as well. So here's what it looks like, and I'll give myself a little. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, that is a delightful face mist. I like that the spritz is really diluted and it's not just like, ch -ch -ch, like Windex, you know, it's like, whoosh, it really is a mist. And here is the Glow yeah Lip Oil. Ooh, I don't know about this. I just have super sensitive lips, so I will definitely have to pin a comment down below and let you know how my lips react to this. But basically it looks like a lip oil that either goes on, you could put it on like before bed, you could put it on under lipstick or under another product. So let's just see. My lips are actually a little dry and cakey today, so I will definitely comment below if this ends up soothing. Upon first impression, it does not feel like lip gloss, although it looks like lip gloss. It's much lighter and more refreshing. There is not any stickiness to speak of. Before I apply the foundation, I am just going to use a primer. Um, I just got this one from Ulta a couple weeks ago. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy Luminix Primer, and you guys were totally supposed to see this in an Ulta haul, but I'm really behind on content as I mentioned, so we're just gonna go ahead and use it now. And just smooth that all over the skin. I always do like to prime before foundations, especially when I'm testing out new foundations. So here we have the Like a Light Skin Tint. Like a light. Like a light. 
it goes by numbers so I have the shade L30 and I looking at it right now it reminds me a lot of milk makeup which isn't necessarily a bad thing I'm curious to see how much of a skin tint it is compared to say Glossier skin tint which is super super lightweight coverage it has a little pump with it so just going to pump some of it onto the back of my hand Definitely still feels pretty light in consistency, um, possibly a little heavier than Glossier Skin Tint, but I'm going to bounce some of it into my skin with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if it's the primer or if it's the foundation alone, but my skin looks really glowy. It looks really beautiful. Clearly, you can still see through a little bit to where some breakouts are by my chin area, but that is an issue easily solved by concealer. This for me is my ideal like working from home or weekend face product because it doesn't feel caked on or anything, but it still feels like there's something there. I would say that this is a step above the Glossier Skin Tint, but a step below the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in terms of consistency and coverage. So I hope that gives you guys a good benchmark if you've tried one of those products before to know how intense the coverage is. But like, look at my skin. Do you see the glow happening here? I am I'm definitely going to try this with another primer too to see if it's the NYX primer because if it is the NYX primer that's really impressive to me. <laughs> Let's check out the See You Never concealer. I'm a little bit concerned about the color match here because they ran out of my shade at the event so the shade that I was given is L45. I hope it's not too dark for me. Um, it does look pretty similar I guess in shade to 30 but I'm going to apply directly on my skin just doing a little dabs and gently squeezing the tube as I go underneath my eyes and I'll also spot conceal a little bit down here. Oh, that was probably way too much. With these squeezy tubes, it's just a little hard to control how much product you have coming out. Um, and I like to be in control of how much product I have coming out because I tend to use a little bit less product than the average person and I don't ever want to be wasting product. Okay, so as far as color match goes, it looks like I had nothing to worry about because it looks pretty good to me. And I feel like it did have definitely a little bit of a brightening effect under my eye. I like the consistency of this. I think the coverage is again, like medium, but probably buildable if you really wanted more. Um, and I think it's a nice compliment to the skin tint too. But right now I'm definitely a little bit more into the skin tint. And I have two more color products to test out for you guys. One is the Tint and Tame Brow Gel, which I just ran out of my Holy Grail Thrive Cosmetics Brow Gel, so if I have a replacement to it, I will definitely keep you guys posted. The package says, comb the gel through your brows going with the hair pattern to create a sleek look or against it to fluff it up. So I like that she, again, kind of even in the product descriptions is giving you like license to wear it the way that you wanna wear it. This is a very skinny brush compared to other brow gels I have tried, so let's see how it goes. Oh my God. This is way too light for me. Oh, that is so awkward. This is really, really light for my brows. Look how dark my brow hair is and look how light this is coming out. Oh my God, I don't know if I should keep going or if I should just stop right now. <laughs> this is the shade brown, but I would not call this brown. It's like kind of more of an auburn. I guess I should have got the dark brown. I think there is a dark brown. I remembered seeing a black there, so Hopefully there was another option than just brown, but yeah, I'm thinking this is way too light for me. I mean, I'll go ahead and do it just so you guys can see how the product applies and so I can actually review it as I intended to review it. Right, I'm gonna stop right there, <laughs> not go any further. I have two or maybe three thoughts about this product. So the first thing is obviously the color. In my experience, brown, like, the Glossier one and the Thrive Cosmetics one, like that has been much more on the darker side of brown. Usually there's more of a lighter like auburn or medium brown kind of option and I usually just go for brown. So I would definitely double check the swatches and the photos on the website and everything to make sure you're getting the right color because I believe this brown is too light for me. Um, as you can see that this brow is now like way lighter than this brow. 
And then the product itself I like. I think that you can, again, like use it just a little bit to kind of add some shape to your brows or you can really go in and try to fill it if you can. But I gotta say, this brush is not doing it for me. I'm sure it's supposed to be minimal and more like literally just like combing your brows how you want it to, but I just am not really sure how to use this. I don't know if this is super user friendly. I think you have to be really particular about where you're placing the product when it's this precise. So I just went back over with Glossier Boy Brow in brown and just to show you the difference between the two brushes, this is the Glossier Boy Brow and this is the Florence one and it is just... I guess maybe it's a personal preference. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of brush you guys prefer because even the Thrive brush, I don't have it right now because as I said, I ran out of it, but it's thick like this and then it tapers in a little bit at the end. So it does give you that option of precision, but this does not give you the option of fluffy as the Glossier one does. So let me know if you have a personal preference down below in the comments. Um, I would be really interested to hear your thoughts and like, is this just a me problem or is this a we problem? The last product I'm going to be testing out is the Cheek Me Later Cream Blush. And this came in six shades, so I wasn't actually sure which one they were going to give me in the gift bag, but I got this one, Shy She, which I think is the one that I will like the most because it is the most neutral. My issue with cream blush is I always get too excited and I go too intense and it does not come out well. Honestly though, I love this packaging. It's so simple and I really like, this feels very non-threatening to me as far as cream blush goes. Like as non-user friendly as that brush was for me from the eyebrows, I feel like this is something that I can work with. It feels really lightweight and super creamy upon first touching it, which I feel like it's hard for a product to be both of those things at the same time, but this one is. So let me just see if I take a little of it on the pads of my fingers and kind of start to gently dab it onto my skin. You guys, have I finally found a cream blush that I love? I think I have. I am literally so impressed with this. Oh my God, this is 100% something that I was not expecting to love and I love it. I love it. Let's do a quick little overview of what I tested out today. The Zero Chill Face Mist. I really liked this. I think it applies nicely. I think it smells amazing. Looking forward to continuing to use this. Um, most likely before I apply my beauty products. It doesn't really give me those setting spray vibes, but it might be a nice one to keep on your desk when it hits 3 p.m. and you're like, I'm falling asleep right now. You could just reach for that. I am a huge fan of the Like a Light Skin Tint. I think this, like I said, is a step above the Glossier one. And honestly, I applied it with my beauty blender, but I think I would also just apply it with my fingers on days when I'm feeling a little lazy. I'm picturing this as like, I gotta run some errands on Sunday. I don't wanna go out barefaced and I just slap this on and I'm good to go. I also did like the concealer. The only thing that this makes me think about now is if my foundation is L30 and this is L45 and I didn't see too much of a difference, is there like discrepancy between the shades? Probably something to look into. Hopefully, like I said, it'll be in Ulta stores. So if you can test it out in person, that will give you a huge advantage as will testing out, where did you go? The Tint and Tame Brow Gel, which is the only real miss for me today. The color threw me off for one, but honestly, this is not a brush that I would gravitate towards. I think I just have too many other fluffier brow brushes that I love. Again, maybe that's my personal preference and my preferred brow look right now, but this is not something that I will be using because of the color and also just not my jam. So if you're a friend of mine and you have slightly lighter eyebrows, please reach out to me so that I can give this to you. And last but most certainly not least is the Cheek Me Later Cream Blush. This is the biggest surprise and I am just so impressed by this. I really did a subtle kind of take on it today, um, but you can still definitely see the rosiness in the apples of my cheeks, which I love. One thought I have about this quickly is if you have oily skin, I'm not sure if this would be the best for you because it did feel, since it is so lightweight and creamy, that might feel kind of oily on someone who does already have more oily prone skin. So just something to keep in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. What was your favorite product from this line? Let me know.
me know down below and if there's anything that you are going to purchase for yourself as a result of seeing this video and or just loving and being obsessed with the queen Millie Bobby Brown. Also a quick thank you to the Florence by Mills team for inviting me to your event in New York City and kindly gifting me so many amazing products from this line. Oh, also lip oil update. Feeling good still, not feeling glommy. Don't know if it's solving any major problems yet, but we'll update you in the comments after I've had it on for a little while as well. If you're not already subscribed, hit that red button down below. Generally, there are new videos every Monday and Friday with the exception of August, in which case I have been a frazzled mess, but I love you guys so much and appreciate you. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And even if the sky